neverquitmath.com let's go all right so let's just do some more examples with um the distributive property and the letters so let me just pick one out say we got five times 3x plus 2y I'm gonna move a little fast on this one because we got the hang of it from the last example we tried so let's just go through it looking at it one more time so we're gonna distribute that 5 in there and distribute the 5 in there one reason why we know we distribute is because you can't add or combine anything in here because they're totally different letters you can't add apples with oranges it doesn't change the number of fruits in each basket same thing over here 5 and 3y you can't add them so we know we're going to distribute that negative 3 and distribute it that once again as you distribute you distribute with sign so we're going to have 5 times parentheses 3x right and then I'm going to have 5 times positive 2y always bring down that plus 2y because it's going to make sure that we don't multiply in here okay same thing over here we're going to have minus 3 times 5x right and we're also going to have minus 3 times plus 3y okay so 5 times 3 is going to be 15x right 5 times 2 here is going to be plus 10y make sure you put that plus here very important to make sure you put that plus 10y over here negative 3 times 5 is going to be negative 15x right then over here we're going to have negative 3 times 3 and that's going to be actually negative 9y right following our rules and then now we're just combining the terms I look through and I say 15x is right here so I say okay 15x got that is there any more x terms? I got another one right here, negative 15x. So I put my negative 15x here, cross that out. Nice. Then I'm looking back through and I say, okay, let's get that 10y plus 10y. And notice I bring it down with its sign. I don't just do 10y because it's positive. I put plus 10y to remind us we're doing addition and subtraction. Then over here, we got minus 9y. You bring it down with its sign and you progress normally. So now, 15 minus 15 if you cannot see this it's this 15 minus 15 x and 15 minus 15 is 0 x which is the same thing as 0 All right on this side 10 y minus 9 y is 1 y which is the same thing positive 1 y which is the same thing as just plus y so if your answer is equal to 0 plus y that's really just equal to y and that's your answer all right, so another example you can check out, neverquitmath.com. Keep practicing, do some examples. That's how you get it down, y'all. Let's go.